Some of the best things in life can so easily be taken for granted. Take your sight, for example. It's so precious, but it's something you don't really realize you have until it's gone. Take Shannon Payne. As you can see, she's legally blind. Due to a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, she's been losing her sight since the age of eight. Believe it or not, she's preparing for her first 10K at the heart and soul. My right eye is almost gone. Everything I do is through the left eye and now it's causing static vision. So like the old days of TV static or walking through a blizzard, I get that kind of vision now. That's where Yellowstone Fitness comes in. For the last six years, Shannon has worked with her trainer, Susie Albano, who after finding out Shannon didn't have a partner to take part in the two mile walk, challenged her to do the 10K. But despite every reason not to, what could possibly drive Shannon to want to compete in a 10K? My grandpa had heart condition and St. V's did a lot for him and he passed away. So I do it for him and then for my health. Over the years, Susie has learned many things to help Shannon on her journey, such as using this bright green mat so she can see where to throw the medicine ball or using this bright orange mat to give her something to do lunges towards. She came in because she needed to work with somebody as a personal trainer. So they assigned her to me and it was like, oh, the blind person. Oh, I don't know anything about that. So, um, so I learned. Even Susie's shirt is designed to contrast just enough so that she can guide Shannon from place to place. This regimen may look tough, but that's how Shannon gets through life with a strict regimen. It's a lot of time management, really knowing the buses, the schedules, um, coordinating with my trainer. Time management is key um, when you have to rely on transportation, and especially in this town because they quit running at 6 o'clock. That seems like an awful lot of work for a workout, but for Shannon, it's a necessity. I have a syndrome where I gain weight in the trunk, so if I'm not active or eat right, I'll gain a lot of weight and I can become diabetic. So it keeps me healthy and I do my best, I struggle, but she keeps me grounded. <laughs> and it's amazing that where she's come from when we started to what she does now, she's inspiring. She really is inspiring. And I, I truly think I learned as much from her as um, she may have from me. That learning hasn't stopped either. The heart and soul is Shannon's first 10K and the challenges that come with it will be as big of a learning curve as the two have ever had together. Yeah, I don't have any clue how to guide her down the street. I've never really done that before. So she'll train me how to do that and, and we'll laugh and talk and chat and pass people. <laughs> the parking structure that we go through is dark so that takes a little bit of my time off going from a, a light to a dark, um, which I'll probably grab Susie's shoulder when we do that part. But why do it at all? Certainly Shannon gets enough exercise in her weekly training sessions. Why put herself in a new uncertain situation such as a 10K? For Shannon, it's simple. She wants to see as much of the world as possible while she still can. I've just learned through the years that there's um, no such thing as a um, short life and you know I, I've got to enjoy the things I can while I still can see them and I just believe that you can't give up your life whether it's your sight, your hearing, you still got to do what you want to and enjoy it. On top of her job where she helps others deal with the loss of their vision, her workouts, as well as, you know, having a personal life, Shannon is also going for her master's degree in special education and vision rehab therapy, proving that the word can't is just that, a word. In Billings, Jake Jones, SWX Montana.